what is going on guys welcome back to another video it's been a while since i've posted i know but however i am um i'm just up uploading this video because i want to update you guys on something i had a little problem with it i searched up online i couldn't find anything searched up some videos couldn't find anything searched up some information on uh beam repose any posts like that and most of the people that have had this problem before never updated it so uh, i don't really know what happened after that or what they did to fix it. So I have BM3, Boot Mod 3, whatever you want to call it. I wanted to do an update. There was an update for my tune. What I ended up doing was, sorry there's echoing in here. I'm in the garage. <laughs> so what I ended up doing was uh, updating my tune. And also I wanted to update my GTS transmission tune. Not because it was an update for it, but because I haven't... I haven't reflashed that, that tune since I've probably since I first got BM3. That was probably one of the first things I did, and that was probably like 2018. And if I'm not mistaken, on the actual tune, it updated 2019 or 2020. So what I ended up doing was uh, reflashing it, and my tune went in fine. So I was like, you know what? Let me just reflash the GTS tune um, just to make sure that everything's good. And I ended up doing that, and it failed halfway. And what ended up happening was um, my car basically got stuck in park, so I had no communication to the transmission. I had all codes with the uh, transmission that saying all these things are not communicating or whatever. And um, the car was basically just stuck. I contacted um, the support tech. I have to say they they were amazing, very quick to respond, and very helpful also since um, they uh, they kind of pointed me in the right direction. So they were telling me that my um, battery uh, was probably it, that the car, if the car was on the battery charger. And it was, that's my battery charger right there, on a charger. So it took me a couple of times back and forth. I tried to flash the stock tune, um, didn't work. That ended up, you know, failing as well. I ended up charging the car for a few hours and then coming back to it. And um, the percentage of the tune did go up to like 40, 50%. And it failed again. After it failed, sorry that I'm just walking around. I just want to make a quick video. I had the charger up front connected to the terminals here. So the negative terminal right here, which that's what it's for. And uh, the positive terminal right here, max 14.4 V, which is this. So the problem was that the charger was only charging it up to, um, if I remember correctly, it was right under 20. I ended up moving the charger from the front to the back, which is right here. I disconnected the battery for 10 minutes and then I connected the charger to here. And this rolls up to, um, if I'm not mistaken, I don't really remember, but I went from 20 to right between 20 and 30, almost at 30 actually. I don't know why the battery would be discharged or why the tune would think the battery is discharged or not enough volts or whatever. I do drive the car often. It doesn't just sit here all day. I, sometimes I use it as a daily, you know. I do have my daily, but I use this most of the time. So once I connected it to this charger, I went to reflash. And I saw the battery voltage was up. And when I tried to reflash again, it worked. So I reflashed back to stock and it worked out. So I was just like, uh, you know what? What's the worst that can happen? I mean, the worst that can happen is that I break my DME, but whatever. I tried it again. And I tried to tune to GTS again and it worked. And well, that was pretty much it. So more of a story. If you guys are looking for uh, a, so a solution, if you're having the same problem, it's not, uh, you can't find any information on it. This will be my information on it. My solution is to not connect the charger to the front, but to connect it straight to the battery directly. Once connected there, you should have a good reading and hopefully it works. If you guys um, liked the video, if this helped anyone out, hopefully it did. Um, the reason for me making the video, because I couldn't find anything on it. So hopefully if anybody's going through the same situation, um, you guys, you know, this, this helps you out or something. I'd like to hear your problems and solutions if you guys ever have gone through this. And um, that's pretty much it. So, yeah, like, comment, subscribe. I will be posting up more soon. I have a uh, Lexus IS300 I'm building. It should be parked right there. However, it is getting painted, so I have to just wait. <sighs> Once it's done with paint, I could uh, bring it in and start working on it. I have um, this garbage. I have, uh, you know, parts here for it, uh, wheels here. 
not, not these for the BMW in the back. I have uh, parts over here in the box and shit like that. And also sourcing a bunch of TRD IS300 parts and OEM parts. I'm only doing a uh, pretty much OEM plus build on it. So um, sourcing all those parts are pretty difficult. Um, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. So thank you guys. Leave a thumbs up, uh, subscribe for more. And that's it. See you guys in the next one. Peace.